So I'm here at uh, Prismic Studio today. I'm with Berkir from Bueno. And I'm really glad to have you here, Berkir. I really like Bueno. So can you so maybe first uh, um, tell us a bit about yourself and what you do? Thank you. Yeah, um, I'm very glad to be here. Um, my name is Birkir Good Johnson. Uh, I'm a technical director at Bueno. Um, yeah, my role is uh, I, I do a lot of things. Uh, everything from from uh, receiving a client and uh, me, uh, finding out his uh, requirements and expectations and all the way up to uh, delivering uh, a, a good product. Good and and can you give us a bit of uh, like maybe introduction of what Weno is? So Weno is a, a full service uh, digital agency. Uh, we have uh, three locations uh, uh, in Reykjavik, uh, Iceland, uh, uh, New York and uh, San Francisco. Uh, we we do we do everything di digital, and I like uh, uh, I, I guess you're very w well known for very big pro pro projects that you did uh, that be the very famous project that you did <clears throat> for different uh, companies, and I like your uh, you know huge attention to details and creativity. So I guess they say it's 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 you're taking the thing to a, a different level. Next really level, like yeah. yeah. Next level, yeah. You can say that. Uh, yeah, we work very closely with. Um, with our uh, designers, and and we like to see see ourselves as the, the, the dev developers. We like to see see ourselves as uh, extension to the design team. And that's something, yeah, that's that's interesting. So basically, you work very closely with designers. It's not like designers do something and then they hand you the work and then you have to implement it and then you insult them back like, oh, this doesn't work. Why did you do it on Photoshop? <laughs> you don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> pixel, pixel perfect uh, something. Yeah, yeah, no, no. We 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 take the design and and we, we make it better. We we do animations and if, if we don't have a motion study for a specific thing, we we if you have the time, we we do it better and, and make make it make it like an experience. And, and and how do your designers do their work? What do they deliver? Uh, what do they deliver? Uh, depends on the project, uh, but uh, I mean, most of them use Sketch and uh, they, they deliver a Sketch file or even a, a InVision prototype where you can click through. Uh, but in the end, we always uh, look look at the um, style guide and, and do, do it from a modular and component based. Oh, modular. So designers already do modular way. Yes, that's, so that's kind of the way to go. Okay, so they they think of a page as modules, different pieces. Yeah, absolutely. And do they do this work together with developers? How to modularize like their page? Or yeah, they have I mean, experience to do it. They're getting pretty good at it right now. To think oh. of, think about it, yeah, it's a very good uh, transition. Uh, but uh, yeah, we we work pretty. It depends on the project, uh, but but sometimes we have to work very close with them to figure out uh, the schema of of the documents and 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 so on. So they are pretty technical in that case. They, oh, they, they can get. be pretty technical, yeah. Some some uh, designers, uh, uh, my friend uh, Quark, uh, he he even coded his complete website in in TypeScript. Uh, oh. I was very proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what about your role? So yeah, my role um, uh, as a technical director, you uh, it, it's not about uh, directing only. It's it's about uh, uh, talking with the client, finding out his needs. Uh, what kind of systems uh, does he currently use? What, what what kind of system does he need? Can we get rid of something? Can we can if, can we find something new? Um, yeah, it's all, all about those uh, finding those requirements and then begin begin the work. Uh, it, yeah. Um, and and what about like um, do you like for instance you have a client you understand their needs and then do you do you is part of your job to recommend like what technologies they they should be using? Definitely, definitely. The the, the biggest uh, key into making a website is, of course, picking the CMS. That's kind of uh, kind of key. Uh, that that's usually the first question that we need to solve before even the programming language or technology. Yeah, that's usually usually how, how okay. it goes. And we always always stick to recommending headless CMS. Uh, our our sales pitch is usually like headless CMS. You can always change it. Like you're not stick to to a specific uh, uh, service to to manage your website. If you if you select WordPress, you're kind of stuck with WordPress. Right. But if you go with headless CMS, you can go Angular, React. Doesn't matter. You can yeah. So again, components or modulars. 
Right, right. And, th and that's why you start with the CMS so that you have that freedom and then you choose the framework that you want to. Exactly. And I want to touch more about that, that your your criteria of choosing a CMS, but maybe in a, in a different video. And then you go into uh, talking maybe about choosing the technology, the framework, the programming language. Yeah. What, um, what do you currently choose as a programming language? So currently, like uh, we, we like to call ourselves a React shop. <laughs> so we write uh, everything in JavaScript. Actually, we write everything in TypeScript nowadays to, for additional type safety. Um, yeah, we use uh, mostly GraphQL for for mm -hmm. a transportation layer on on backend services. So yeah, picking services, uh, we really look into like if they have our GraphQL endpoints and and so on. But do you have like some customer that would say, no, 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 I don't want that framework? Or would you adapt, like, would you choose a technology? Do you try to convince? Or sometimes you'd say, okay, you, you don't like React. We are going for, I don't know, Node or some other framework? Or how, how does it go? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Uh, like, we are conservative of the client's uh, time and money as well, uh, as well as, as our time. So we we are very transparent and we just say like you're not going to get the most uh, for your money if we have to uh, use something that we are not 100% proficient at you know something that that we are very good at doing mm -hmm. we can do the most efficient we absolutely recommend going that route and we are a very uh, you know forward facing uh, uh, technology wise so we use everything that's futuristic and and, and nice yeah i i know that yeah <laughs> yeah so and and uh, so it does, it happens sometimes that clients tell you know uh, we're, of course we're, we're and, afraid of that yeah and sometimes they they don't have the the capabilities of actually going to something uh, uh, more modern if you will they they may be vendor locked in into some some specific technologies is that okay for you sometimes it's okay and we we just have to uh, work around that sometimes uh, the we, we can just deliver HTML and the, the client uh, has a third third party provider who, who translate that into their uh, but system, how, but right. then they will lose uh, the beauty of, of working of with the us. perfection of the execution, right? Yes. Yeah. But do you like, is it, does it have, if it happens, wouldn't you be like, I don't know, I mean, I would be disappointed, upset if I see something that is broken into something like not as efficient without the transitions that I would like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a hard one actually. Because <laughs> yeah, we do a lot of things that maybe we wouldn't put our name name under. Yeah, that's you know? the thing also. Uh, we, we would just show you the design and the the HTML that we we provided, which is uh, amazing. And then when it's uh, translated into whatever system, it it may be misinterpreted, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there are so many aspects, right? It's not uh, like you, you, first in the implementation you need to be pixel per perfect, mm -hmm. and then uh, also in the execution it's not it should not be slow. It should show in the right order. Absolutely. So many things, transitions. Yeah, and so responsive. Many details. Responsive. I mean that that's w one of the biggest. Like sometimes or like often, most of the time we we don't get uh, different uh, breakpoints. We only get uh, the desktop design. And uh, like I said before, uh, our dev team is an extension of the design team. We figure out a way to to make it work in mobile and make it beautiful in mobile. Uh, so it's very the, organic. It, yeah, that's the, the big part of the perfection of the design. It's not the design itself. Yeah. It's the execution and how it happens in the, in the team that is very uh, you know, coherent and, and works together so that you achieve a global thing that actually is a good experience. Absolutely. And do you use uh, like bare CSS or do you use some kind of uh, framework? <coughs> yeah, good question. Uh, we we mostly stick to SAS uh, nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, our our stack is is basically we use uh, we use CSS modules. No matter what uh, what kind of uh, uh, CSS system we use, even if, if it's SAS or or. Uh, less or stylus doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We always have to use uh, CSS modules on top so mm -hmm. that we don't interfere CSS classes uh, with each other. If we have two developers working on a button, different button, and they both name their class button, we don't want it to interfere. Yeah. So class name class names is, is, is CSS modules is uh, is is very important for us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And and like now that we talked about all these topics, when you have a website and you break it into pages, 
do you design some kind of um, I don't know design system for that website or some kind of uh, coherent UI kit before getting to the uh, design itself or how does it work? Yeah, uh, I mean we we have different different types of projects. Sometimes we just have marketing sites. So that's like a one of one of thing that uh, just lives for maybe three months. Uh, we we don't go all all in into UI kits at that point. But sometimes we get a, a very high profile. Uh, uh, website that has to live forever and is like kind of a future future project we we go and create a style a style guide in the beginning in, in mm -hmm. design and then later uh, we we may end up creating like a ui ui kit with um yeah some sort of tool right or even just uh like our, our basic is usually just create a page within the the website called elements and we just list out all the different rear components in in that page Interesting. Now that all these choices, all these choices of frameworks, technology, method, method of working, who does it? Is it there some some team that's always thinking, or does it evolve? And some team, I like, would say, okay, we we in the last project we worked on this, and it's really not nice. Maybe you should replicate that in other projects. How does it go? So in terms of uh, selecting technologies, yeah, selecting so technologies and methodology. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, we have a variety of uh, developers and everybody has input always. Mm -hmm. So like, oh, I, I used this great technology before, like we should definitely try it. Uh, we used it on the last project, uh, we should we should stick to it. That's that's definitely how it goes. Uh, like we, we just try new things and, and if, it, if it's good, uh, we, we stick to it. Right, yeah. cool. So now maybe we in, in future in the uh, next video, we talk about the the React framework that you're using, and then we talk about in another video about the headless CMS and how do you choose that and which ones you use. Absolutely. Cool. Thanks. Thank you.